Did you do 14? It's 14! That's nice. stupid. I just eyeballed that. What? Is it springtime? Technically almost. Does it feel like outside? No, not here anyway. But I'm gonna pretend and test out some gadgets that I feel are very like spring-esque. Cause I'm just really tired of looking at snow. So I'm just gonna block it out. So if you too enjoy a good Amazon gadget, but you're not sure if it's worth it, go check out my playlist. I have tested so many of them and I'll also link them for you because I also have, um, what are they? The Amazon storefront things and all my favorite products are there. So you can go check it out. But we are gonna start with a gadget that just me screams spring and that is this guy first of all the color spot on for spring but this basically chops all of your herbs and i think of all of our like gardens outside when we grow a lot of different like chives and parsleys and oreganos and all these different things this is supposed to make the whole process of cutting all of those up a lot faster because it basically roll like that <laughs> so um we're gonna test it out and we're gonna see how easy it is to actually use and if it actually does cut through or if it just sort of, you know, bruises the, the herbs. That <laughs> looks sharp. Looks sharp. Oh, okay. I just, all I saw was that this part could come apart and I was like, why? Is that where you store the herbs? But no, it's just for easy cleaning, which I appreciate. I do love a good easy clean moment. <laughs> More on that later. Another part of spring that I am obsessed with. So. Herbs. Got some chives, which um, my personal favorite use of chives is in scrambled eggs. So good. We'll do a bunch of those. And then I also got parsley. Give these a wash. Huh. Whoa, so wobbly. So it has two different ways you can hold it. You can hold it like this, or if you want, you can hold it like this. Oh, that's much better. Okay, I'm curious because it looks like it's not cut through, but I think it is. It's just very wet. Okay, let's try this again. Ooh, that's dicey. Do you see that? See the line there? It did not cut through that. Do I have to go harder? Or maybe you just have to be like aggressive and just go ah, blah, 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 blah. What about this guy? No. It's doing a fantastic job of kind of squishing it. That's a no, everyone. That is a hard chaos. That is unfortunate. I feel like I test so many of these and I always get my hopes up. Don't worry, I have another one. Put that over there, get a knife for it. Clearly it needs adult supervision. Cannot cut things on its own. Don't worry, new cutting board because I have another thing for chopping. Actually, before we start cutting, I do have another product I wanna talk about. And that is something that I actually put into place a week or maybe two weeks ago. And that is the miracle Grow plant food spikes. They're basically these like little spike things that you put into the soil and it's supposed to give all the nutrients into the soil for about two months. So um, I put it to use. So we got the thing that's gonna aerate, which is the thing with plants apparently. I should know more stuff about plants. Maybe that's what I'll try and do this year. Anyway, we need to get one of these guys and we're gonna put them in a bunch of the plants that I have around my house because I've had these for so long and they have been stagnant in terms of growth. So this is my plant. I'm sure anyone who is good at plants will tell me how much I'm killing my plants. So um, please be kind. But this has stayed this way forever and I have moved it all over the place. I've moved it into straight up sunlight. I've moved it out of straight up sunlight into like more of like a corner, but it never seems to get past this. So I figure I'm gonna put this in here and a couple of other plants that I have and I'm going to monitor the results and we can see in like a week's time or whatever how this is doing. So I need to find a spot between here and the outside rim and find a little spot to like stick this down. So that looks like about here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this inside. Then cover it up with some dirt so nobody knows it's there. Now we water. Now we're gonna repeat this with all my plants. Just kidding, I added another spike in there because I just realized that the diameter of the um, pot would require it. Now we're going to go and repeat. All right, now we wait. And honestly, Honestly, I feel like this plant is like really happy. Do you see how like tall? That's made a big difference. I've had that plant forever. It will not die and I kill all plants. All of them. That's <laughs> Chris. He brings home so many. High hopes, just shot down. But this guy is really hard to kill. I have noticed though over the, the last couple of weeks that it just looks like lifted, like uplifted. But I need to go and show you the upstairs one. Okay, so this is the plant. Now, I am not an expert at plants, so please forgive me if I am, this 
plant is suffering, but see how it's like up more? It was never like that before. So I think it really likes it. And also I'm noting that it seems to be pulling towards the light more. So I'm gonna put it more in direct sun because I don't think this is enough sun for it, even though this room does get quite bright during the day. So I am gonna move it, but I mean, it is doing a good job. I think it's doing better than it was anyway. So I think I need to put more spikes into like that larger one too. I don't think is enough for that big one, but I will continue to use it. I will say though, it's not just one spike per plant. I didn't think that through, but like, I mean, it's fine because it, it's gonna last for a while, but I on, like you saw it. Does it look better to you? Cause it looks better to me. I am pleased, will continue to use. Okay, now now into the, the chopping, chopping of things because I really, I can't get enough of these and I, I'm still on the hunt to find one that works. I'm trying, I'm really trying. And it's this guy. And it basically you pull to like chop your veggies and stuff and it's gonna cut them into smaller bits and sizes, be a lot faster, a lot easier than chopping it by hand. Unless you're very, very skilled at chopping things by hand, in which case this is not gonna be helpful for you. Christopher, can you get me an onion? Jeez. And it comes with like a little blade cover to, you know, <laughs> protect yourself. And then I think it just goes into the top here. Oh, that's a scraper. That doesn't go there. This goes in like this. Oh, thank you for my onion. Do you want to take a look and see if we can figure it out? Let's see. He's so smart. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this into chunks because you can't just, you know, <laughs> lob that in. But will it dice, will it slice? Are you even not gonna fit a whole onion in? Cause that's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for you. Well, three quarters of an onion. All right, and it says don't pull all the way to the end. <laughs> Gonna have ha ha hopes for a minute. Okay, too much onion. seriously gonna do this to me. It is smaller, it is not um, uniform. So if you're looking for uniform, this is not for you. Yes, it worked, it did. Would I use it again? No. Was it fast? Yes, but again, you have to do a lot of like painstaking things to, to get there. So I just don't think. It's worth the money. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I just, I keep trying. It's not it, another bust. All right, we need to be prepared for this next one, okay? We're in this together, you're committed. We're this far in, we gotta, we gotta make it to the end. This is the one thing I think of when I think of spring, what, finish the sentence. Spring cleaning. Did anyone else? I hope someone else said that. I think of spring cleaning. And I've been watching a lot of TikToks recently in the spring cleaning category. And the one thing that I see over and over, well, two things. One, ice talk. Ice talk is really big. Everyone has all these like, like full freezers full of ice. Just for, for ice, I don't understand, but it is very soothing content. And then the other one is fridge organization. So I bought bins and we are going to organize my fridge. We're gonna see if the set that I got, which was very highly rated, is durable, usable. Is it going to hold the things that I need to hold? Is it like a weird sizing? Like I, I feel like I have a pretty standard fridge freezer thing. And just do I find the sizes of each of these useful for a family of five. That's what I'm looking for. So I figured I I wanna have a clean fridge, all right? I wanna have an organized fridge and I want it to look pretty. I don't think it's it's realistic to have it look the way I see it sometimes on, on TikTok, but I think we can get there in a way that makes sense. I just need some hand-holding through this, this process, okay? We're in this. I like to start lots of projects, but I don't like to finish them, so. <laughs> we could do this, we could do this. Now, I will say of the things that I am good at, one of them is understanding and organizing things well. I think I do a good job of that. I can see where there's gonna be like a bottleneck in the system. I can see where things are gonna be efficient and when they're not gonna be efficient. I think that's one of my skills. So my hope is that if you are also someone who um, is trying to organize your fridge, I, we can at least find some tips and tricks and things that are gonna get us there together. So let's start at the beginning and we're gonna do a before of the fridge. All right, this is the before. Ah, so we're gonna make this look organized, people. So we gotta start by taking everything out. We need to reset so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay, let's unload her. I'm gonna try and organize this by 
type two, so I know how much of everything needs to go back where it needs to go back. Uh, this needs to go back here. Ah, this is the only organization element that I uh, have. I couldn't remember where my camera was. Jeez, we'll go back here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Can we just, for a second, just like do a cool transition? I think that would be more fun. Ready? Okay, here we go, here we go. And... Ta-da! I mean, I wish it was that easy, but here's some footage of what you missed. It's gonna take forever! I've also enlisted the help of my sister. She's over here, wave! <laughs> so now, she clean. So now we have to go through and um, get rid of discarded stuff and also I bought a new fridge for the downstairs. Lauren brought a nice bin to put um, all glitter of in the bottom. Of course. I mean, is any bin complete unless you put glitter on the bottom? Because at one time, it housed <laughs> Christmas decorations. So many Christmas decorations. So um, we're going to move some of the stuff downstairs because for what, like five years, uh, we've had a dead fridge downstairs. Just living. I mean, it wasn't living, but it was it was downstairs. So we finally, finally, thanks to Joshua, yeah. Lauren's husband, we finally got a new fridge down there. So anything that we don't use all the time or things where um, I really like probiotics. Some of those can go downstairs because I can't use all of them at once. So we're gonna do that and then anything that's um, expired, we're gonna remove. That's my job now. Straight. Thank you for the bin. You're welcome. Much appreciate. Things that don't need to live up here. These don't need to live up here. Downstairs. I have to be careful too because if I put things downstairs, they might die downstairs. I don't think they will because I have a weird memory for that stuff. I don't have a memory for anything else, but I know a specific thing and where I put it. So if I do it, then maybe I won't forget. Including your phone? No, my phone is not part of it. The only conversations we have on phone is Chris just calling my phone because I've lost it again. Almond butter and jam. That goes upstairs. You can go right here. This doesn't look good, but I'm scared to open it. You want me to do it? Yeah, Christopher has a vague sense of smell. So I, if it smells bad to him, then we know. Oh, I don't even have to open it. Awesome. This is where we had been currently um, housing random things. Sometimes it's like cheese. Sometimes it's meats for school. Sometimes it's little things of um, fruits and vegetables for kids' lunches. It's become this random bin. Now it contains bacon, salami, cookie dough, cheese, and pancakes. So maybe we can do better. All right, cheese bin, done. Gosh, now I have to just go through all this. Okay, don't organize yet, Rachel. Just pitch the stuff that doesn't need to be up here. This is all I need to do. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. This probably isn't fine. That's good, that's good. This is good and also delicious. We need to get back to using those like, dissolvable labels more. Oh, they are the best. One of the best purchases we've ever made in the kitchen. I kid you not. Right here, I will link them down below for you because they are that good. We fly through them and they just, they dissolve. You run them underwater, gone. There's no sticky residue, nothing. They're perfect. Okay, I need to go through all this. BRB when it's time to organize. Okay, I got some stuff to go downstairs, which is I think how a lot of people have those like really clean looking fridges. They don't have all of their stuff up here. But we have a lot of people in our family and also people that work out of our home as well. So second fridge, feel very excited about it. Okay, so now we need to put things back. So I, I figured I would start with the egg thing. This feels like the epitome of um, organizing your stuff. Get my fancy eggs for It's very fancy. I need to go into your fridge. Oh, okay, there's nothing in there. Oh yeah. Here's pizza. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, I have a thing for you. Hang on. Are you so impressed with my eggs? Yeah. It's not even looking. <laughs> your own little egg house now. Yeah. It's fun because they come in an egg house. Yeah. But now you have to do more work to put them in an egg house. <laughs> Actually, you know why I like that egg thing? Seriously, though? The egg house? It's because I buy the Costco 30 packs of eggs. Yeah. You usually get the ones that don't have a lid to them. They just have like a thing. Yeah. So we have to like, so we keep all of these and then we bring them all upstairs from the downstairs fridge. It's just, it's small. That's the only thing. Like 12 eggs for five people, that goes, that's gonna go real fast versus this. Looks like a day. Is that not 14 eggs? It looks like more than 16. I could be wrong. Is it 14? It's 14! That's nice. stupid. I just eyeballed that. What? Yeah. Wait, hold on. No, but you know that what? It's 14. Let me defend it. Why not fit two extra eggs in? to get the depth of the fridge. But it's not even the depth of the fridge. They could have fit another egg in there. So it should be 16. 
It should be. But not every fridge is this deal. That's true. That's true. That's true. Eggs are something that you almost exclusively buy by the dozen. It's like, true. I don't even think you can buy 14 eggs. <laughs> whole whole egg talk here. This one is technically for uh, cans of pop or whatever. Soda, we say pop. But we make little containers of green juice for the kids to take to school. And we've been housing them in this thing. It just, this thing doesn't hold all of them. So I'm curious if this is a better system. I need a, a shelf. Oh, that could have gone real poorly. Did you see that? Ah! I'm gonna put this here and have all the kids lunch stuff on this shelf, maybe. I don't know, we're gonna find out. All right, what's next? What do I need to do next? If big bins like this, I'm trying to think of what I would want to put into this big, this big bin. Oh, I also, I found a thing for all of my um, probiotics and stuff. This wasn't part of the pack. I just think you should know that because I want to use both of these for the kids, like fruits and vegetables and stuff. Anyway, maybe leftovers? Put this stuff into the leftovers bin. I think I'm trying not to keep my fridge open happens. Then we need to put all of these things back. Where are you gonna live? Hmm. See, the problem I have, that I have with this, I want to see all of my leftovers and not have them like all packed in, you know? Put all the sauces back because we use a lot, a lot of sauces. A lot of sauces. Yes, I have two things of pickles because these pickles are way better. I can't explain it. They're just way better pickles, but I have to use both of them. Farm Boy, if you're watching this, you make really good stuff. I have a lot of Farm Boy stuff in here. Is Farm Boy kind of like our Whole Foods? I guess kind of. Oh, this is a weird video. This is already not working at all because as I'm trying to put things in here, like it's just gonna end up being this mess. Maybe this is a better, Solution for the kids stuff. Then I don't know what to do with these things. Oh my gosh, we have so many sauces. So saucy. Gotta put all my veggies and stuff back. I don't know if you know this. This is my face is really close. Sorry. If you wrap the bottom of your herbs with a wet paper towel, or you stand them upright in like a glass of water and cover it, they'll last longer. Fun fact, so you know. <laughs> and Christopher just made an unreal parsley pasta. It's like a little bit spicy, garlicky. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Oh my gosh, we're so close to being done. I'm gonna show you the final. All right, grand reveal. Ta-da! It isn't the most beautiful looking, I will say that, but that is function right there. Everything has a place, it is organized. So overall, I do like these bins. I think that they are good quality. I think they're housing our stuff really nicely. I found them to be quite useful. I'm missing one of these. I have not used that one yet. Um, maybe for like, if you have like a lot of drinks or something that might be useful. Is this a picture of beauty? I mean, to me it is. <laughs> maybe not TikTok perfection, but this is a, a very functional fridge um, to me. And it's also clean, which is also a bonus. Okay, look, look, look. Ta-da, better shape. Nice. Leftovers could not go in a bin. They no. just need to be free. It's a good start, yeah. it's a good start. But I have a thing for you slash um, Webster. So um, if you don't know, this is Webster. I'll put a little picture here. He's so cute. And um, I found this gadget and it feels very springy because like you go and you take him on walks a lot. Cause she'll send us like little bit lit videos of him like tromping through the, well at the time, the snow. But this is one of those, have you ever seen these? The, they're water bottles and a bowl. Cause you go for long walks. Yeah, and usually I just like pack him a food dish and like give him my water. Yeah, but this is better. This is a better system. Maybe, I don't it's know. It's pretty small. So that was the thing I was like, I'm wondering if that's gonna be too small for him. Oh, the bottle holds 24 ounces. The bowl holds eight ounces, which is like enough for him to drink. It's just a matter of, cause he's like a messy drinker. He might just like stick his face in there and like water's everywhere and there's empty. Hey baby. We're just hanging out in the trunk of the car. I'm gonna try this new water bottle for him. Okay, so if you want the lid to pour, you have to turn this and pop it out. There we go. And now the little pour. And you just slide that, pour it into the little cup. <laughs> All right, he's not the cleanest drinker, but it's fair to say that he got more of that by his feet than uh, in his mouth. I mean, technically it works. Next thing, speaking of organizing, I thought these were kind of cool and I, th I just wanted to include them. Basically, you can write 
on it on the inside and then you'll be able to tell which key is which, which is something that I struggle with all the time. So I figured I would give it a go and see if it stays on, if it's easy to write on. It says you can use permanent ink and then it just folds over. So let's try it. Gotta say, I don't love this or this in terms of colors, but it's fine. Let's go get my mail key. All right, and then you just write on the inside here. Hmm, this way, I guess. This does not write on. It looks like nail. It looks like hail. Can I get rid of it? Can I like wipe it? Turns out I can. Did make the whole inside wet though. Let's try that again. Mail. And then I just tuck it in like that. And then I need my key. So that's what it looks like. Honestly, I don't really love it. Like that doesn't look cute. And um, it's kind of like bunching up a little bit. I would rather just know that blue is for mail. Like I don't really like these. They don't, they don't do it for me. Christopher, did you see the fridge? Uh, no, but I haven't seen inside it. It's Really nice, okay. Functional. No one can see anything, but. Nice, nice, this is good. So clean, thank Nicely you for done. helping me clean it. That was good. This was a very productive video for me. I've been meaning to clean that thing out for a while. If you couldn't tell by how grimy and disgusting it was. But alas, I still have yet to find a um, chopper that does anything better than a knife. So if you have any suggestions, let a girl know. Check out the playlist in case you have missed any other Amazon gadgets that we have tested out. And if you want to see the tried and true, the best ones that we have found that we really love and we use in our home. I will link them all down below for you guys in the Amazon storefront. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic weekend and I will see you guys on the next one. Mwah.